This is Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social in association with William Hill and Empire Fight Store. It's been a long, long time, but I'm back with my friend. We're about to do some training. You're about to show me the ropes, Mr. Jamie Cox. How are you, brother? How's it going, Charlie? Long time, mate. Long time. Glad to see you. That's been a while, mate. How have things been? I mean, what? It's been a couple of years now, certainly a a different couple of years that I expected and and maybe the same for you, but everything all good? All good, all good. Uh, After boxing now, so yeah, I'm just getting ready now as we'll be going to the gym and do a bit of training. I'm getting ready for this BKFC fight April 22nd, so yeah, things are going good. Well, we will speak about that, but just firstly, you made the decision to hang up the gloves in the pro game. Um, what was it in the end for you that sort of thought, no more for me, you know, BKFC is where I can put my ambition? Uh, but with the boxing, I, at that time, I just was uh, sort of not not uh, doing the right things then. And um, then I had a bit of time off and then I got an opportunity with the BKFC and, and my mind is back fully focused on the training and everything, how it was when I was boxing. So uh, I know I'm a little bit older, it's a little different platform, but it's a new venture. And um, yeah, that's what, where I'm putting my, putting my focus in. I know obviously lockdown come as a bit of a, a difficult thing for everyone. We met up and, and we done our interview and I think the goal was to get out on one of them match and boxing cards. Yeah. And then I think, you know, you, we didn't know what was going on there and then we, we were away from boxing for so long, even as fans it was yeah. so difficult because we couldn't watch. And then I think there was a, was it the Jack Cullen fight that was thrown yeah, up there? Yeah, yeah. But never sort of materialised and just, just time to call it a day. It, was it more difficult than you expected to call it a day? Because obviously it's just something you've done your whole life. Yeah, I think, I think, I think it was difficult. Difficult after, definitely. Difficult after was hard. And uh, But, you know... D- I'm I'm no young, young spring chicken, but with the pro boxing, it's a big, it's a, you know, it's a long climb back up to the to the top. And um, the BKFC is a new thing; it's growing really, really fast. And uh, you know, there's a few factors in it that I think uh, I can bring uh, bring it for a few couple of years anyway. I can uh, make it exciting, so um, that's why I entered into it. Well, we've always known just how hard you can punch and just how technically gifted you are as a boxer. Um, BKFC, I mean, you're going to have to sort of educate me more. Yeah. Uh, you're fighting April 22nd. Uh, tell me a little bit about your opponent and what we can expect because we see this from a sort of out there point of view. And I, I just said to you, I said, you're crazy, mate. But I can <laughs> yeah. see why you've done it. I, I get it. Yeah, he's, he's a good fighter. Alvin Brito is one of the top of the top of the tree there. Uh, Alvin, he's, he's he's been in there with uh, like the world champions and that in the uh, bare knuckle boxing, and uh, you know for me, I don't, you know I need time to, to to motivate me. So like that's why you know yeah they threw him at me. Let's go, I'm, I'm ready to go any day. I need someone like that level where I was in the boxing. So um, yeah, it's a different sport. Uh, you know, there's there's a few different. It's boxing, but uh, you know there's a few factors that are a bit different. There's a lot more cuts. And stuff like that. So, uh, you know, you, you know, there's a, a few things that you've got to change in play. But, um, yeah, it's, it's five two-minute rounds, whereas professional boxing is 12 threes. So, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. You know, it's fight fast and furious. And I think, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll bring that in the fight, fighting. So, um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I can't wait to make some noise there. I was going to say, it is five twos, but you're someone who's always been very explosive. I suppose for you, you know, you can go them 10 minutes and you can just step on the front foot at the start of that first round and just go at it for 10 minutes and if it even goes that far. But obviously, you know that you can go in there, you can trade a bit, your chin can hold up, but you you can also punch. Yeah, I mean, that, that, you know, that, that's the thing. If I can bring my IQ into this game, you know, it's... Um, there, are, there are cases, there's a mixture, see, you've got the, the, the MMA fighters, the boxers, they, you know, it's getting quite big, I think like Nate Diaz and a few fighters are coming yeah, over yeah. to it, and um, yeah, so, you know, they, they, they put it to me, and um, yeah, I'm just, I'm just, the, 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 my debut in Leeds, so it's in Leeds, I think, at the Ice Rink Arena, so um, yeah, I'm just going to uh, go there and I'm going to I'm gonna throw it down, I can't wait, you know what I mean, I've been training really hard for it, uh, Alvin Brito is a very tough Fire and uh, you know that, that that that's what I want. I want I want the good stock to bring out the good stock. So um, yeah, I'm looking forward to it, Parsons. Let's go. I'm looking forward to it as well for you, mate. Um, look, let me just sort of touch on sort of giving it up on the pros and everything because I know from the minute I first met you, you know, we always spoke about what you've done in the southwest here and that whenever I speak to anyone round here, whether it be Mark Nielsen, John Pittman, Richard Farn, and anyone, they always said, you know, just how incredibly talented you once were. We see Kel Brook retired and now he's going through his struggles away from the ring. Um, 
you know, when this is everything you've put into, I know you've been doing this from a schoolboy, yeah. and now you know you're a man in your house with your your missus and your kids yeah. over there. Um, when you do put the gloves down, it is difficult because it's all you know. Yeah, I think you know I went through that period where uh, I fought and. Uh, because you know it's uh, it's such a regimented life, the boxing sport. Well, I lived it regimented, and um, you know when you do that, you got you know nothing to fill your time, and you you know you know I I found it difficult. Yeah, I found it a bit difficult. I think a few. I, I think a lot of fighters do, you know, and uh, you know you can ask my missus, <laughs> she'll tell you. But um, yeah, you know I know, I know you know you got to rein yourself back in sometimes, and um, yeah, that you know, but boxing's you know you gotta be crazy to be a boxer they say you know what I mean so um yeah you know I, I you know you, you gotta have a bit of brains though sometimes and um you know just uh calm down just you know be nice yeah, and calm yeah, and yeah. uh yeah it's um you know I'm excited I went through that and now I know you know I know you know I can handle myself you know what I mean I can you know I've got a brain so um yeah I, when when all said and done after this maybe we'll see you know what I mean this I, I know how to yeah. Uh, go through the life again a bit different a bit different how do you train differently for BKFC because obviously I mean you're not going to be sparring bare knuckle no, um, yeah. so sort of obviously you go in there and it's all all a little bit fresh um, what sort of different things will you be implementing is it sort of working at a more explosive pace under shorter time strength sort of is that is that sort of stuff that you get in uh, yeah well you know I was um it's a bit more explosive, you know, you've got to wash your hands, you know what I mean? You can't just be hitting on the forehead, you know, so you've got to be a bit more accurate, I suppose, and, uh, you know, cuts and... You, you, I, I think a bit more pinpoint, um, whereas in boxing, you know what I mean? You've got gloves, a little bit of protection on your hands, so, uh, yeah, but it's still the same aspect as boxing. It's still hit and not don't get hit, so, yeah. uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's the same same, same um, objective, Uh and yeah, a good friend of mine, Drew, says they said dip your hands in petrol. So uh, you know, what I mean, I've been doing that. <laughs> but yeah, I'm, I'm I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to the challenge. Um, is it for you now, like get through this fight? Obviously, you won't want to overlook anyone. But is the world title in BKFC that that's got to be your motivation moving forward? Yeah, for sure. When when I come into you know, same as the boxing. If I, I think you know, if you're gonna do it, can I do it? Weigh it up, yeah, I'm capable, of, even at this stage of my life, can, you know, I'll just put my focus on it and that, that, that's the target, to try and get the uh, BKFC world title. So, uh, you know, that's why I'm fighting a very good fighter first, Alvin Brito, that put me straight up there in the mix. If I do the numbers, uh, do the numbers, do the job on him, land the numbers on him. So, uh, yeah, you know, do a rascal job on him, Parsons, you know what I mean? Do a rascal job indeed. Yeah. And look, numbers are something that they're, that's there to be discussed. I think you mentioned previously people like Nate Diaz and Artem Lobov and Paulie yeah. Malinaji. These are yeah. all people that have entertained the bare-knuckle world. You get a couple wins under your stride and all of a sudden you could find yourself fighting on one of these big pay-per-view events and finding yourself at a career-highest payday and probably a field you didn't expect to be doing it in five years ago. I mean, with David Feldman, obviously, the, the, the CEO of it all, and uh, Andy, they sort of roadmap me what, what sort of direction they want to get me in there. So, um, yeah, I think we're looking to pretty move fa uh, uh, fast pace to get out in America and fight for the big big titles there. So, um, yeah, but he could be fighting one of these big names soon. So, um, you know, they, you've got Chad Mendes, I think. Is it Chad? Uh, yeah, Mike yeah, Perry yeah, and yeah, all these yeah, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know what? What you know? You know? You, you everyone, everyone, know, everyone, yeah, everyone knows yeah. me. You know? You know what I mean? I love, you know. I'm, I'm game free as long as I put my head down. Anyone, let's go. Let's move on to the sort of professional ranks, the heavyweights. We were discussing Tyson Fury yeah. years back, and I remember you just saying just how special you yeah, thought he yeah. was. Um, since then, obviously, loads and loads of wins. The third fight with Deontay Wilder, uh, Dillian White, the third fight with Derek Chisora also. Um, now we're at a bit of a point of a crossroads. We always spoke about Fury Joshua doesn't ever seem to materialise. Um, who knows what's going to go on there, and we won't discuss that on this thing now. But... Um, in terms of Fury Usyk, Fury is usually very vocal on social media. He hasn't been in this fight. April 29 was the planned date that they had. Wembley, we're getting closer. We've still got no announcement. Is there starting to be a little bit of doubt in your head that we may not see this fight? It's sad because some of these big fights that don't happen, you know, they, they, it'd be too late now even... For my, my opinion, you know, I don't know everyone else, but with like um, Joshua and Fury, you know, it, it'd be a bit too... It's gone past the sell boy day a little bit. Obviously, we've got Usyk and Fury now. Uh, th that's a mega fight. I think they're the two best in the, the heavyweight division, myself. Um, and, uh, you know, obviously, Tyson, though, I think, 
I think does the job, but you know, it comes still down to politics, and hopefully, we don't see the boat sail past. But, um, but what a tremendous fight that'd be! I mean, Tyson's done what he done, Usyk as well. You know, he's up, you know, he's coming through. Uh, just be, uh, he's a danger man, and um, yeah, it'd be a great fight, it'd be a great fight, but definitely want to see Tyson winning. Um, and uh, you know, what, what he's done for the sport, everything, and um. But yeah, it's just sometimes the politics, I, I couldn't really speak on it, you know what I mean, Charlie? But um, yeah, it's, it, it, some of these fights that we just see too late, Pacquiao, Mayweather, so, you know, some of these fights, you know, they should have happened sooner than later. Sort of on that point then, 50-50 seems to be the hold-up. Tyson Fury believes he's the A-side in the fight and deserves 60% of the purse. Obviously, yeah. from a commercial value, I do understand yeah. that. Um, Usyk is the unified three-belt champion, though, yeah. coming off two tremendous wins against Anthony Joshua. In order to make this the first fight for heavyweight in the four-belt undisputed era, do we just have to say, fuck it, 50-50 and just get it on and then let there be a rematch where they go 70-30, 60-40? I think yeah, so it's definitely something that's got to be contractual, and um, you know, obviously, to make a big fight, someone's got to give in, and you know, what's a couple of million when you got hundreds of millions anyway? So you know, someone's got to give a give a little bit, and all that is going to make a big difference to their to their bank balance anyway. But um, yeah, it'd be a it'd be a cracking fight to see, and you know what I mean? It's uh, yeah, Tyson's the man. Usyk's obviously got the bulks now. Tyson relinquished or whatever, but. Um, yeah, it'd be a fight I'd love to see. But, uh, you know, Tyson's been and done it all. It's up to them, you know what I mean? It's, I don't know the ins and outs. Jamie, finally, from me, Conor Ben. We're seeing more and more come out. He's been cleared to fight by the WBC, but a bit of an interesting statement come out from the WBC, sort of leading down the whole egg contamination route. Yeah. Conor Ben's come out and said, this isn't quite accurate. Uh, the process... Is quite long-winded, been interviewing Eddie for a long time now yeah, and yeah. keep asking him and we're still not getting loads of clarity. They're saying Manny Pacquiao might now come out of retirement for the That's Conor it, Ben yeah, fight yeah. at 44 years old. Um, you know, what, what, what sort of stain does this leave on the sport? You know, we, we don't know whether Conor's guilty or innocent, but without anything proven and obviously nothing from the British board yet, it's, it's all a little bit difficult hearing it, isn't it? Yeah. I, mean, I mean, you know, at the end of the day... That's what the boxing ball's there for. So if it's all come out, Connor's all fine, then Connor's all fine, in my opinion. You know what I mean? So, um, it, you know, Connor's put, 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 put his case against it. And obviously, there's, there's someone who's got to make the verdict, and it's the boxing board of control. So, you know, we have to we have to listen to what they say, and it, what they say goes. And uh, so, yeah, you know, if Connor, if, 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 if everything's okay, then, you know, they should let Connor carry on with his career. And uh, who, know, who knows the ins and outs, but yeah, you know, Connor's been cleared and that's, that, that, that's it, is what it is. Jamie Cox, top man, thank you very much for speaking to me at Boxing Social. We look forward to your Bare Knuckle FC debut April 22nd Leeds. Make sure you get your tickets and watch this man take the Bare Knuckle industry by storm. Nice one, Charles. Thanks very much, mate.